In this tutorial, we're going to look at Pantone colours, where to access them in Affinity Designer, and how to apply them to objects on your page. Pantone colours are available from the Swatches panel within their own specific palettes, which you can access from this pop up menu here. To access a specific set of Pantone colours, simply select the set's name from the pop-up menu. The swatches panel will update to provide you with a selection of swatches you can use in your design. To apply these to objects, simply select your object and ensure you either have the fill or the stroke selected depending on which one you want to change the colour of and then select a swatch from the palette. Pantone colours are automatically applied to objects as global colours which you can see indicated here by the small triangle in the bottom left of the swatch. You will also notice the colour panel has updated to show you are using a Pantone colour which is also a global colour. The colour panel allows you to tint the Pantone colour to control how much ink is applied to the page once printed. Because Pantone colours are applied as a global colour, if you decide to change which Pantone colour you are using at a later date, this is quick and easy to do and I'll demonstrate this now. If I select my second object, I can apply the same Pantone colour to its fill. To then change that Pantone colour, I simply control click the fill and select edit fill. From this pop up menu here, I can go to swatches and again I can select a Pantone palette set from the pop up menu. I can then change the colour to anything I want from here. Both objects update because this is a connected global colour that was applied to both of them. For more information about global colours, how to create your own custom spot colours and how to create overprint colours, see our other tutorials. Thanks for watching.